So the Wormerai kit that you've all been eagerly awaiting is now out and it's not just for worms. So I'm gonna show you how to get the very best of it. And you'll also see I've got my little friend here, the slow sinking imitation worms that have come as a part of the revive range. I'll also explain how to get the best from them with the worm rig. But first, so I'll put these down. There you go. When I say the wormer eye isn't just for worms, this is why. The old humble bit of luncheon meat, an absolute classical bait that has caught hundreds of fish, not just carp from loads of places, but if you're like me, again, you worry about casting out luncheon meat, getting it on so it doesn't tear off the hair, then the wormer eye is your friend in this case. So I'm gonna talk you through how to get this rig set up that I've got, because you can use this same rig for both worms, luncheon meat, and any other bait that you cho choose to use the wormer eye with. So quite simply, the first thing you do is you take the wormer eye sprig off the little sprig kit, then quite simply make a little overhand loop um, with the sprig stop on the loop, okay? So that means you thread the fluorocarbon through. I'm using 10 pound blend. You can use any of the fluorocarbons if you like in the range, but the 10 pound gives you a lovely little supple setup. So I thread that through the sprig stop, form a little overhand loop so it actually sticks the sprig stop into the loop. Then the next job is to take a little foam ball. These will be coming to the OMC range, but you can use any foam that you've got. Slide a little piece of that down the other end of the hook link towards the loop knot, okay? Next, you want a domed sinker. That's in the V to bits range. Slide the dome sinker down the hook link towards the end where the hair is starting. And then basically you should have a sprig stop, a loop, a foam ball and a dome sinker, okay? And that's before you put the hook or anything else on. Now the next job, you take your wormer eye needle and you slide on a little piece of, I suppose it's macaroni. You can use, there are some little tubes that you can get for put using with meat. You slide that onto the wormer eye needle and then you follow it up with a nice piece of meat that matches the size of that little bit of pasta or the little bit of tubing. Okay, once you've done that, you then use the worm eye in a different way. It's got two holes on it. One's got the loop for the hair on. The other one is where you use the custom made latch needle that hooks onto that little bit of, uh, sorry, hooks onto the loop. And then quite simply, thread the meat, the pasta, the whole lot, down the worm or eye sprig stop, onto the hair loop, and then you are done. It's onto the hair. You then slide down your foam ball, slide down your dome sinker, so it's sandwiched and gripped, and very little can move. So two things. The reason is your hair with the pasta, it's inside the pasta. So you've got a higher diameter fit cylinder inside the luncheon meat, so it can't tear off. So if you like using luncheon meat, as I said, that is your friend. And that is it. You'll then be able to cast that more readily. The luncheon meat's gonna stay on, be more hardy, more resilient, and you're good to go. Now, another way, if you wanna use it with worms, of course, which you may have seen before, quite simply take the luncheon meat off and then take one of the imitation worms. And this time what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the flat end of the wormer eye needle into the back of the sprig stop, okay? Where you can insert a needle into it. Take your imitation worm, put one imitation worm on, then follow it up with 12, 10, five, 15, 25 worms, dendrobinas I love using for this rig. And then you follow that up finally with another imitation worm and then quite simply slot the worm around, um, stop so it's flat against the worms and then pull your foam down and your dome sinker and you're ready to go. And the actual rig, if you're tying, finishing the rig off, is very simple. Once you've got those baits in position, you can quite simply just tie a knotless knot, make sure you go up the barrel of the fluorocarbon a couple of times to make sure you, that that knot is not sort of bulging and moving during a fight. And then I've just got a worm aligner, a liner over there, and it's a lovely, simple knotless knot rig that will catch you fish from absolutely anywhere.